Welcome to this episode at Economics Design. Today I want to talk about something that a lot of people have been asking and trying to clarify. And the thing is an, actually it's an update of what we talked about few year, two years ago. Start up with the difference between crypto economics and token economics. Which is the difference between crypto economics and token economics. Are they the same thing? If they're the same thing, why are they the same thing? If they're not the same thing, why are they different? So the short story is that no, they're different. They're very different. And when we talk about crypto economics, it includes both the layer one, layer twos, as well as the application layer. It's an all-encompassing term. When we talk about token economics, it's very specific to just a platform protocol. So what is that, why and how? I'm going to talk about all of this in this video today. So what is the main difference between crypto economics and token economics? The main difference is that crypto economics also considers the messages being sent in the entire platform. What does that mean? Think of crypto economics as the, the messages that you need to verify. So from an economics perspective, from a game theory perspective, crypto economics is a bunch of people coming together to build consensus to verify information. So this verification is not done by a smart contract or a logic, it's, it is a consensus protocol. So you have bots, you have machines coming together to help find consensus, to agree on the message. Everything else is secondary. The most important thing in crypto economics is the message, the validity of the message, the agreement that everyone agrees on saying that, yes, this is the message. And this is the core thing that crypto economics is trying to solve. It involves both economics and computer science, very complex computer science, to make sense out of it. A very important thing to note is that when we talk about economics, we talk about incentives and agents. Now, the main agents here are typically bots, are typically machines, are typically code, where you come together to agree on certain things. And that is crypto economics. You come together to agree on the message. Now, let's flip the switch to understand token economics. What is token economics? Token, token economics, do you have to talk about messages? Yes, you need to figure out how to do transactions. In, in Uniswap, you need to figure out if I'm sending one USDC, how many ETH am I getting? These are messages, these are information. We need these information to make transactions. So it sounds like the same stuff, or is it? In token economics, these different logic, these different message transactions are defined in your smart contract. To put it more specifically, a smart contract enables economic transactions between agents. So agents do not come together to decide what the message is. You execute the message, you decide what the message is, the smart contract executes the message, and that's it. So where does the economic agents come into play in token economics? Well, they come into play in all the other aspects. All these different trades are economic interactions, economic transactions we have. And these are optimized with smart contracts. What we need to do then is to gather people together, to incentivize people to come together, to organize amongst each other, to coordinate amongst each other, and to trade and transact amongst each other. That's a very different optimization problem than crypto economics. Crypto economics has been defined long time ago by Vitalik. That includes both messages of the past, the incentives of the present, and the future expectations to allow people to stay within the system. So there are some aspects to economics, there are some aspects to computer science. Everything is around verifying the message and allowing all your agents coming to, to come together and agree on the message. On the other hand, token economics is a very different ballgame. Token economics, we know what the execution would be. We can define that, it's all in smart contract. Then we need to incentivize agents to come into our space. We need to get agents to engage in any economic transactions. We need the various incentives, the various resources. Token is a resource, NFTs are a resource, or other things that's not traded, they could be resources in your ecosystem. And we, we are defining what resources are there in the space. How do they use the resources? How do they optimize the resources? How do we allocate the resources? How do we distribute the resources? How do we increase the resources? How do we decrease the resources? All these things are all related to token economics. So crypto economics talks a lot about messages. Token economics talks a lot about coordination between people. In messages, in messages of crypto economics, it's more of game theory of bots and agents, rational agents, rational bots, coming together, looking to exploit or looking to collaborate. On the other hand, token economics talks about interacting with people. And as much as we want to say people are rational, people are really the not, not the most rational beings. What does that mean? It means that people are incentivized by different ways. People could join your system today and leave your system tomorrow. So what can you do? How can you use tokens to capture the value being produced by your ecosystem thanks to your economic transactions in the space? 
And these are all the things that you need to consider in token economics. As your platform gets more complex, as the economic transactions, the economic activities, the, the interactions between players and users in your space are getting more and more complex, this is where tokens come in, token economics comes in to help to coordinate and organize between these irrational individuals, irrational agents in the space. So that's the biggest difference. With crypto economics, it's talking about messages, it's talking about coordination of messages and validating messa messages. Token economics talks about coordinating between people. They trade, they interact, they transact, doesn't matter. It's all about coordination of people. And what you coordinate them to do, it's very different. It could be a social DAO, it could be a constitution DAO, it could be a gaming DAO, it could be a guild DAO, it could be a DeFi protocol, options protocol, derivatives, blockchain gaming. The, the possibilities are endless. So it's not about the objective function, it's really dependent on what we're looking to do. But the main way to get there is coordination of people, organization of people and your economic agents and defining what your economic transactions are. Crypto economics focuses primarily on messages. How do you align messages, validate messages, and agree on these messages being transacted? So how do they come together? Can they work in separation and can they work together? Yes, of course they can work in separation and of course they can come and work together. Crypto economics is your bottom line economics that validates the messages being sent, which is validating the various economic, the transaction, the execution of economic transactions. Whereas token economics talks about coordinating between people, how do you agree with people, how do you partner with people, how do you, how do you collaborate with people, how do you coordinate with people to allow for execution to exist, to allow for transactions to exist. So they all come hand in hand. People come together, they decide to trade. When they decide to trade, a message is formed. This message is then validated by your crypto economics, which is your layer one, layer two, to validate this information. It sounds like they're the same thing and they can be quite related, yes, but they are different. They're quite related because they're both all about validating a transaction, but they validate transactions in different ways. One is validating by finding people to connect and, and trade with and agreeing with all the terms and conditions executed by smart contract. And the other one, which is crypto economics, is the validation of these messages. And so all these messages will be stored in the back end, which is the historical information and updating everyone's balance sheet. So that's the difference between crypto economics and token economics. Love to hear your opinions on what these are. Love to hear if you think I'm right or wrong. Very, very interested to hear feedback and other opinions. Till then, I'll speak to you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for staying throughout this entire video. If you're interested to learn more and you want to join the community, do check out our Discord, check out our Academy, and you get to watch these videos for free as well without any ads. And also grab the book that I've talked about earlier on. The book summarizes a lot of what we're trying to build, what we're trying to design, and the different aspects that can be changed during the entire design process. We also just launched Econteric. Econteric is really economics plus esoteric because this space is so complicated and so difficult. What we want to do is to make it easier for anyone to come and learn and be part of this system. So in Econteric, we are breaking down the different analytics and different data to give you more insights, to understand the robustness from a very fundamental level of the health of this ecosystem. So check out econteric.com and I'll see you there. Bye. Great.